Okay, guys. I'm getting kind of a late start today. Uh, my wife had to work. I wish I had to go in later to work, so I kind of uh, stay with her until she has to go. So what I do, I can do it all the way up, you know, up to the evening or the morning or whatever I want to do. But anyways, welcome to another episode of uh, Almost Live. Today I actually feel pretty good, uh, but I'm sure this mountain will knock it out of me here in a minute. I'm going to go a different way today. Uh, it's kind of steep. It's, it's really actually it's really steep at first, so I'd help knock some of the steam out of me. But uh, old bugs, and uh, I'm going to do some ginseng and look around for some uh, Bigfoot sign, just like I normally do. But uh, hopefully it ain't going to rain or anything. It's another nice day, so I want to I want to hit. Got my got my trusty digger, got my pistol, got my water. Uh, I got a little bit of snacking material, and just in case I need it. I don't think I will, but. Might never know, but uh, I want to hit it. So I, I'll talk to you in just a little bit. Just now getting into the uh, mountains, and I found this break. Uh, of course, these type of things can be done by bears, but uh, it's uh, kind of unusual. So I'm gonna walk over here next to it, uh, and that is just slightly taller than my head uh, so we're looking at about a six foot break up off the ground now it could have been a bear i'm looking for uh any bear marks or claw marks and i don't really see any at this time but as you can see it's been popped over and i'm just now actually getting up to where i want a ginseng i've ginseng here several times over the last several years. Another thing interesting, as I was coming up through here, I flushed up a, a hawk and he flew down into that little creek and then up on a tree, then up on another tree and he just looked at me. Yeah, I want you to look at that. That's, uh, that has potential right there. That's, there's no reason for that to be broke. I mean, nothing, you can see nothing's fell and hit it. So that has some real good potential for us. So maybe we'll find some more in here, uh, uh, some more sign, you know, or try. I like to find a nice track. I've not found a nice track in here in a while. I, I found some possible tracks, but I mean a real nice track. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it a little bit and see if I find anything else. I'll, uh, I'll film it. Maybe give a few updates along. But, all right, here all right, we go. guys, I'm uh, burning up. Of course, it's hot. I don't really like wearing a hat. It uh, seems like it holds in too much heat this time of year for me. Makes me, I sweat easy anyway, so. But uh, uh, coming up that little uh, little ridge, I did I did pretty good. I found you know several bunches of ginseng. Uh, about everything I found was uh, the leaves was already turned yellow. It's uh, makes them a little hard, a little easier to spot. But if you ain't careful, you get used to looking to the for the yellow ones, and you. Uh, and you pass over the ones that's still green. Now uh, here's something kind of interesting I want to show you. If I can get it on it. Let's see if I can get you on there. Try. Right there, can you see that? That appears to be from a balloon. Them hot air balloon, uh, helium filled balloons they let loose. Well, I guess that one got so far and finally come down in here. But, uh, I'm fixing to head back across that way, across that little swampy area. It's kind of slick. And I uh, do a little more ginseng. Not really found anything else I thought. There's a few odd things, but you know, I don't know if it's for sure was, if it's Bigfoot related or not. But I'm gonna head right through here and see what I can find. All right, All right guys, I'm up here. I'm pretty up the mountain, if you can see down through there. That's uh, pretty steep up in here. I'm gonna flip the camera around where you can see up through there. See all those big rocks and stuff? This was the area where about two years ago, I felt like there were a big foot in there and on this side of the mountain. I found some uh, large X's and, and a few other weird things. And uh, I'm not really seeing anything this uh, 
this go around other than uh, that one break down there. And that could have been done by a bear. But I've been so I've been going up this way probably for about for about two hours or so, so I probably need to start working my way back down on this other ridge. This would probably take me another good two hours. And by then it'll be getting fairly late. It's about two o'clock right now, something like that. Sometimes I just like to listen in the mountains and see what's uh, going on, listen at the nuts fall and stuff like that. Okay, I'm facing the head right back down this way. I'm looking around, so uh, if I find anything interesting, I'll try to film it. Oh, I still feel good too. Uh, I'm sweaty, but I'm not really tired or anything. I want to ease on back down this way. I just want to let you look around a little bit up here. Beautiful area. This is what man was kind of meant to meant to inhabit, I believe. I mean, I'm not nothing against city folks or city or being in a city. But I think it's good for everybody, if they can, to get out in nature. This is more what we, I think, were, was originally meant for. Which I do like our technology, so. <laughs> Nut fell. All right, I'm gonna head down the mountain. What was that? Could have been a nut fell. But pretty loud. I hit on one of those rocks or something, I guess. Oh well. I'm more than willing to uh, encounter Bigfoot if he's out here. That's the thing, those things are so quiet. A Bigfoot. They are so quiet in the mountains. They're kind of like a bear. You know, bears are real quiet walking through the mountains. They can be right on top of it before you know it if you ain't careful. But, Okay, I'm heading down the mountain. All right, guys, I am back to my four-wheeler. Uh, this is probably going to be a pretty short episode. I didn't really find a whole lot of stuff interesting today to, to share with you. I found the one tree break, and uh, and then uh, other than that, that was really about here. Other than telling you a little bit about the other area where I'd uh, where I had uh, uh, thought there was a bigfoot activity a couple years ago. So there's a very good chance that could have been, a couple years ago, it could have been Bigfoot activity. And then it's moved over to this mountain behind me for maybe for better food sources or whatever. But uh, it's, it's been my experience that if, uh, if you're finding structures and breaks, usually the Bigfoot are, are in the area often. Uh, where as to you may just find a track and then you, will not, you may not necessarily find anything else who knows for years or forever uh but if you usually if you find structures seem like they frequent the area more often uh, i found some ginseng today not a whole lot a lot of it uh is already it's kind of hit a schedule it's, it's already turned yellow and fell over and then the leaves are already starting to fall down pretty heavy and it's covering them up so i would just say it's probably going to be an off year for me for ginseng not really found no usually you can find some real big plants i found a whole lot of big ones i found some small ones that had good sized roots on them and stuff but i not found no real big plants uh and today it was pretty it was kind of cooler than what it's been a been but uh, still sweaty and i usually i wear these long sleeve shirts almost all the time when i go to the mountains to keep bugs and poles and ivy and stuff like that off of me but uh hopefully this uh you, you know, you guys still enjoy these episodes if they, even if there's not a whole lot going on. Because you get to see some pretty mountains. And uh, I'm going to head home and uh, take a shower. And I got some stuff I need to work on. And, and also, I'll, I'll tell you this too, on October the 7th, 
uh, I will have a table at the uh, Harlan Hunt Fest in Harlan, Kentucky. It's, uh, I think it's a, about just about an all-day event. Uh, I'll have some of, my, some of my books for sale, maybe a few movies, a few T-shirts, and my wife's done a few crafty things for uh, for it to sell. A spider web in my mouth, but. Uh, But uh, that's on October the 7th. Uh, there's a lot of uh, celebrities, I guess you call them, going to be there. Uh, the guy that played Grandpa in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, he's going to be there. That's kind of interesting for me because Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, is uh, one of my favorite favorite horror movies. And uh, Ricky Morton, I believe it is, is going to be there from Rock and Roll Express, a whole bunch of authors and comic book guys and they're going to have a cosplay and uh, they're going to premiere the uh, Man's Old Shepherd film uh, where Chris Maggard is That's, I took a little had a little part in that and uh, my sidekick Tony Flossie had a whole had a big hand in it because it's it's on, based on his research and, and stuff over the years that he's put together uh, there's going to be a ghost walk at the end but there's a lot of stuff going on up there and, and uh, if you're like most people Early October, you probably ain't got a whole lot of stuff going on. I think it's on a Saturday, so you know if you guys can come up and uh, check it out, uh, stop by my table, and maybe I can uh, talk to you, get to meet you. Uh, maybe I can con you into buying one of my books. But uh, it's Harlan Hunt Fest. You can find it online too, HarlanHuntFest.com, and you can also find it on Facebook. So check it out. And uh, I noticed here on my YouTube channel that we've got uh, several new subscribers and I want to thank you guys for subscribing. We got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we don't we can't we don't do as many videos really uh, as we used to as far as uh, shows because everybody's just so busy. I try to do a little bit uh, do my little shows, but a lot of other the other people are busy and it's kind of hard for them to do it. But we we're, we're still going to bring stuff out. It's just going to take us a little longer. Because we got other films and projects like that we're working on. And uh, we're doing some, uh, getting some better distribution on some of my old films. So if you've not watched them, maybe they'll be in a market where you can watch it. You know, it's something that you actually, I know everybody don't use Amazon. Everybody don't use uh, Hulu or whatever. And everybody don't use Netflix. So we're trying to get to my, some of my older films and my most recent one, Missing the Dennis Martin Story. We're trying to get them pushed out to uh, more outlets so you can maybe, you know, watch it. But uh, I guess that's it for today. And peace, guys. Y'all be good. I'll see you next episode or sooner. <laughs>